Motorcycle Parts Familiarization Welcome to the session on Motorcycle Parts Familiarization. As an automobile technician, you will be concerned with conducting various adjustments to vehicles and equipment, repairing and replacing their worn out or broken parts, and ensuring that they are serviced properly and inspected regularly. To perform these duties competently, you must fully understand the operation and function of the various components of a motorcycle. In this session, we will familiarize with the parts and system of a motorcycle. A motorcycle is similar in many ways to a bicycle. Since we are more familiar with how a bicycle works, it may be easier to understand a motorcycle by comparison. A motorcycle has a lot more parts and functions than a bicycle, since it is designed for high speeds and to drive long distances. They may be classified into various systems. Let us see what they are. Suspension system that makes ride smooth by absorbing the shocks during the ride. Brake system that slows or stops the bike. Fuel system that makes fuel and air available to the engine. Powertrain system that converts the fuel into power that propels the bike. Lubrication system that lubricates the engine parts. Exhaust system that removes residual gases and smoke and the electrical system that includes battery and electrical components of the motorcycle. Before we go into the various systems, let us learn to identify some general parts of a motorcycle. Similar to a bicycle, a motorbike has wheels, frame, handle, brakes, mirror, horn, seat, and fender for protection against the mud thrown into the air by the rotating tire. Luggage rack, center stand, a side stand, a crash guard which protects the driver's leg from the direct contact with any object in case of a crash, and footrest which provides support for the feet. Now that we have reviewed the general parts, let us familiarize with the parts for each of the systems. Suspension system. Let us first see the suspension system. A bicycle has two wheels that fit onto a frame. A tyre is added to the wheel to help absorb some smaller road bumps. Similarly, a motorcycle also has a frame with wheels and tyres added to it. The difference is that the frame on a motorcycle has pivot joints that allows parts of the frame to move up and down and turn a bumpy ride into a smooth ride. This is done by using shock absorbers and springs on the front and the rear. These together help the rider to cover long distances comfortably. Brake system and wheels. Now, let's look at the brake system. In the case of a bicycle, brakes are often just rubber pads that are pressed on the outside of the wheel by a handlebar lever to create friction and slow the bicycle down. The brake of a motorcycle also has the same parts just like the bicycle. Motorcycle has rear and front brakes. These are controlled by a brake pedal for the rear wheel and a brake lever for the front. Next is the fuel system. The rider of a bicycle needs to have the energy to pedal the bicycle. We get energy by eating food. The motorcycles also need an energy source and gets it by burning fuel. Fuel and air are combined together and generate power. The fuel system consists of the fuel tank, fuel valve and the carburetor. The fuel is stored in the fuel tank and the fuel valve is used primarily to turn on or off the flow of fuel from the tank to the carburetor. Filtered air comes from the air filter, which filters the air and sends it to the carburetor. The carburetor prepares the fuel for the engine consumption so that it has just the right amount of air mixed with it. The fuel air mixture then moves into the engine. Powertrain system Next, we will review the powertrain system that converts the fuel into energy that will propel the motorcycle. Powertrain system mainly consists of the engine, 
gearbox and the chain drive connected to the wheels. It also includes the kickstarter, throttle lever, clutch lever and gear lever. Let us now see the functions of these parts. The fuel air mixture from the carburetor moves into the engine. The spark plug provides the spark to ignite the fuel in the engine. The power produced is distributed to the wheels with the help of a gearbox, which plays a key role as a monitoring agent on how much power is distributed to the wheels. The chain drive is connected to the gearbox and transfers the power from it to the wheels. The kickstarter is used to start the motorcycle. The throttle or accelerator is used to increase the speed of the motorcycle. The clutch helps to engage and disengage the engine while changing gears using the gear lever. Lubrication system Next is the lubrication system. The engine contains many moving parts. Engine oil is required to protect and ensure proper functioning of its vital components and it helps to avoid wear and tear. The engine oil is poured through the engine oil inlet. Exhaust system As fuel is burnt, it produces fumes and gases which further moves outwards through the exhaust pipe. The fumes and gases create a lot of heat and this may harm the co-passenger on the bike. This is avoided with the help of a heat shield. The sound of the engine is muffled using a silencer attached to the end of the exhaust pipe. Electrical system Now, let us look at the electrical parts of a motorcycle. Some bicycles have a headlamp and a tail light for night driving. These are powered by a battery or a small generator that makes electricity by rubbing a grooved wheel against the side of a rubber tyre. A motorcycle needs a more complicated electrical system. It uses a generator on the engine to make enough electricity to provide for the engine spark plug and to charge the battery. The battery is concealed in an enclosure and supplies electricity to the various components. Let us review the main parts or functions that are powered by the battery. Headlight or driving light for night driving. It is turned on using the headlight switch. There is also a switch to alternate between high beam and low beam. Brake light for indicating to vehicles behind that brakes are being applied. Indicators to indicate the direction to turn. It is controlled by the indicator switches. Horn to alert vehicles or passengers ahead. Additionally, motorcycles have a front dashboard that provides options for the driver to view critical information and operate the electrical parts during travel. Speedometer to view the current speed and the distance covered by the bike. Fuel meter which indicates the level of fuel in the fuel tank. RPM indicator indicates the engine speed. Ignition switch. The ignition key is inserted into the ignition switch and turned on prior to starting the motorcycle. Electronic ignition switch to start the motorcycle without using the kickstarter. With that, we have come to the end of the session. In this session, we learned to identify the parts associated with the various systems in a two-wheeler and describe its functions. The systems are suspension system, brake system, fuel system, power tray system, lubrication system, exhaust system and the electrical system.